Welcome to my one minute data science interview question series. This series is a video series which I'm preparing for the people who want to appear in data science interview. Now the very first common or the common questions or the very first initial kind of questions you get uh, in data science interview is that how do you treat missing values in the data? There is no single answer for that but there are multiple ways you can treat your missing values. Now the first way of dealing with missing values is that you can remove all the rows where you have the missing values but in that case you will be sacrificing your data. The second thing is that you can deal uh, with missing values by imputing the missing values. When I say imputing the missing values or treating the missing values which means that you can uh, remove or replace the missing values or any values in the data by putting in mean, median and mode. Now the choice of mean, median, mode will be dependent upon what kind of data you have. So if you have categorical data, you will try to pick up mode. If you have um, the numerical data, uh, which, which can be discrete or continuous, if it is discrete, then you'll again try to pick up uh, the, the mode or median depending upon the values. And if it is uh, continuous data, then you'll try to pick up uh, mean values in the data which is nothing but the average but again before you impute any kind of value you need to understand whether you have any outliers in the data because if you have outliers your mean and mode values um, will be into a different shape altogether so your data might get distorted so before imputing any missing values you need to have the complete knowledge of the data and you need to see the basic things whether your data has got any outliers or not there is something called as intelligent imputation, which we'll talk in upcoming series. So if you like this video, then like it, share it, or if you have any questions, on, uh, then you can comment on this video. And if you have uh, any questions in your mind about the data science, you can comment on this video um, so that I can help you with, uh, you know, giving you those answers. Also, if you want to learn about the data science, you can always log on to twodatascience.com and uh, register for the upcoming course. Thank you so much for watching the video.